Today I want to talk about some of the top tech fields that you can consider getting into for the future. First on this list is cybersecurity specialist. As we have seen with the rise of artificial intelligence and applied AI, cybersecurity will be even more important than ever. There has been already cases and demonstration of people sharing how they use ChatGPT to attack their own system and because ChatGPT is so powerful, they were able to come up with all the vulnerabilities that the system already have. And this can be a good thing because it gives your company a heads up of the areas of improvement that you might need. But it can also be used very malicious by potential hackers because they can leverage ChatGPT to help them attack. And this can also create a lot of more attackers in the future as well. Because of that, I believe cybersecurity will be even more important and a lot more jobs will demand a cybersecurity specialist. A lot of teams, a lot of softwares will require people to be familiar with cybersecurity. So I would say cybersecurity will definitely be here to stay and it will be even more important for the foreseeable future. The next one is kind of obvious. We know applied AI is here, so how can we use it? There are researchers who farther improve these algorithms. Of course, those might require more specialized skill sets. So if you're thinking about potentially going back to school, I would say artificial intelligence, robotic, machine learning, all of these will be great. And in the future, as we can tell, a lot of companies are building some sort of physical products that can assist you in your day-to-day -day lives. And this will create a lot of robotic engineers. So robotic software engineers go beyond just the software portion. They also work closely with the hardwares and try to really think about how to build some of these sensors and putting all these logics together. So I would say robotic is a great field, if, especially if you not just want to do software, but also interested in some of the hardware aspect. A lot of great example of these can be electrical engineers or computer engineers. The next Next one on this list will definitely be jobs that require some sort of creative element. For example, sure, GPT technologies can help you create prompts and a lot of times you can create very creative things from it, but it still needs a lot of market research to really understand how certain things will be used successfully. So I think in the near future, UX designer will still be demand because a lot of these tools will make their life a lot easier to enable them, empower them to create something even more powerful than before. So I believe like there's a perfect market for a lot of creative folks to capture and leverage here. So in the short term, I think UX will be even more important because now you can just ask, for example, Dell E to create some sort of image and be able to tweak it and then modify it in your application without having to worry about any copyright. So this is really powerful. Last but not least on this list, full stack software engineer. In the near future, full stack will still be one of the most demanded software engineer. So for my day-to-day -day jobs, I had the opportunity to try Copilot. They really make coding a lot smoother and help you save a lot of time by removing a lot of time spending on writing boilerplates. So it makes it very efficient for you to create a lot of these new tools. Full stack software engineers are very well positioned because of the fact that they are flexibility. They not only can do front end portion, but they can also do the back end portion. And a lot of times, many of them also touches the info side. So if you want to really be a full stack software engineer, you have to be at least spending 50-50, meaning 50% building the front end client side component and then 50% building the back end, how saving the data, how the crude operation works. So I would say if you are someone who's thinking about positioning yourself really well for the foreseeable futures, full stack will offer you a lot of protection in the sense that it's so flexible that you can do a lot of things. And if you want to apply to a front-end role, that you have the ability to. And if you want to apply to a back-end, even info side, now you have your hands experienced on some of these already. So it makes the transition a lot smoother. So I would say if you're thinking about a software engineering specialization, I would say full stack is almost always the best bet. Of course, you can pivot into more front-end, more back-end in the future based on what are your interest. And I think this is also the least impacted by some of these applied AI. And for example, I have noticed a lot of new initiatives, new organization that is looking to build these gen AI technologies. They first want to have some of these researchers to build their own internal knowledge. Graph. And once they have these, they want to use it in their products. So they need product specialists. And a lot of these product specialists 
are these full stack software engineers? And if you have experience using a lot of APIs, using a lot of microservices, you are positioned to become one of these frontier software engineers. So it's actually very exciting opportunities to become a full stack software engineer. Of course, like mobile is still going to be very important, but of course mobile is a lot more limited, but full stack, you have so many different tech stack. You can cover way more ground than a lot of other pure mobile software engineers. So yeah, guys, if you're thinking about going into tech, I hope some of these can help you decide which one of these fields that you might consider going into that I do believe in the near future will be extremely well positioned. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys liked this video and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe.